Hello guys, this is uh, Games Forever 53, and today I'm going to be doing a playthrough of Sly 2 Band of Thieves. Uh, this is actually the Sly Collection, which is all of the Sly games in uh, HD and it's 3D compatible. Now I am uh, choosing to start out with uh, Sly 2 because that's my favorite and I remember the exact day I got it and I'll tell you the story but I'm gonna be quiet during the um, cut scenes so you guys can hear it and this will be a full playthrough I, uh, I, I promise you that talk a little bit about the day I got the game and then I'll just start rambling like I always do As you can see, I have beaten the game before, so I'm starting a new one. Breaker Alpha Foxtrot, this is the wizard. Do you read me, Sitting Duck? This is Peking Duck. I hear you, Blizzard. No, Sly, I'm the wizard, and you're Sitting Duck. I read you loud and clear, Lizard. No, I, I'm... Forget it, you're not taking this seriously. Yeah, I'm not. Look, Bentley, I know this is your first time out in the field, but you gotta loosen up. If we're going to get to those clockwork parts, I need you on your toes. So in plain talk, what's your status? Well, I've established myself in the basement, and I'm pretty sure I can rewire the service elevator if you can power it up from that security station. Hang tough, pal. It might take some time, but I'll figure out a way to get up there. All right, guys. Um, so uh, after this next cutscene, I will tell you how the day about the day I got this game. So let's watch. Okay, I splice the wires. Ouch! Hold on. There it is. Okay. Okay. All right. Now as Bentley uh, types in that uh, stuff to open the door, let me tell you about the game I got. Uh, the, the day I got the original uh, Sly 2 for the PS2. Alright, it was in uh, 2005 or 2006, whenever the game uh, came out. Or 4 actually, I think it was 4. Uh, I, I don't know for sure, but I'm thinking it was 2004, because I knew 2005 was Sly 3. So I'm guessing 2004 or 3, because the original one was in 2002. So 3 or 4, 2003 or 4. <clears throat> my grandma, who is now deceased, um, it was my... It was a week after my birthday, and... I was not expecting this at all, but uh, my grandma uh, came in and had a uh, Sly 2, and I had my PS2, where I have my PS3 now, so I immediately put it in, and uh, the moment that uh, I really, 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 really uh, cannot forget is the Paris level. I remember the first time I played every level in there, every single level, and uh, uh, the Contessa's second level, we need a paraglider to uh, climb aboard that uh, blimp, the blip, whatever you call it, um, which you'll see later on in this uh, walkthrough. Um, I was stuck on that part for about a year or two, and I actually loaned this game to my cousin in like 2005, uh, before Sly 3 came out. And uh, he didn't give it back for like a year, so I was like, I played all the way through Sly 3, still not having played until the end of Sly 2. So I, I eventually got the game back from him uh, after I went over his house for Christmas. Um, because Sly 3 came out in November, so it was after that. And I remember he finally gave it back to me. And um, I immediately, I was stuck on the same exact part I was always stuck at. And I eventually just decided to check in the shop and sell my stuff. And uh, I saw a paraglider in there. And I was like, that, I, it blew my mind because I really did not know how to get the paraglider. And to just buy it that simply, 
it like blew my mind. I was like, and then after that, yeah, I went. You went to like my favorite world in the whole game, which was Zombie Sans Canada levels, which are like my favorite levels in the like, gaming history because this is one of my top five favorite games ever. Sly 3 was good, but still not as good. Sly 1, I it didn't appeal to me that much. It seemed more like arcade game because you only had like one life, unless you got the uh, horseshoes. But that's a different story. Um, I like this game because it's all the overworlds and characters are very unique and uh, fun to listen to and fun to hear their characteristics about them and um so yeah this is this is just, this is, this is just good i love it and i believe you're in egypt in this part i am not sure at all but so yeah this story has some very uh interesting twists and turns uh people turn on you uh you lose members of your gang, and uh, all the stuff happens that you'll see later on. Nothing really happens at the beginning that's of any real importance. Though, I, I might add, you just figure out about the first minor members of uh, the Claw Gang. Yeah. Alright, that was the coolest thing ever. I said the Claw Gang the same time as Sly said the Claw Gang. Now, now, now is that not epic? Or is that not epic? Seriously, like, I looked at the preview screen and I said the Claw Gang and he... And immediately, this text came up to say that, like, as I was saying it, so... That's just how epic I am, I can, I can do that. I can so do that. Now, some of the missions in this game are super short, others are super long. Some I might have to split up in two, some might be like under, I don't know, five minutes, but uh, I'm uploading them by missions. I will not combine missions, no matter how short the video is, just so I could split them up. So if um, anyone wants to just skip around and go to the videos that uh, they're stuck on, then um, I would be glad. Uh, to just uh, make it easier for you so you can just skip to the mission that you want without watching all the other stuff. Because I personally hate to do that myself when I just want to see a walkthrough of one level that I'm stuck on. Um, there's no way you'd be stuck on this one, but just in case you are, I guess this is for you. Now, when I'm going to be playing the missions, I'm going to be playing them in order in which they uh, show up in the slideshow presentation that Bentley gives after you take the pictures. I'm going to be playing them in that exact order. I just have been playing the game for years. I, I really have no idea. Now, uh, when it seems I jump on the van, there's going to go to a cutscene, so I'll let you listen to that without my voice being in the background. Thanks, peace, and rate, comment, subscribe. Bye. Carmelita's just as angry as ever. She's really quite lovely when she's angry. And that Constable Mila, was a reference to the Claw Gang just a slip of the tongue or an intentional clue? Either way, it's her only lead on the missing clockwork parts. Clockwork. He was consumed with jealousy for the Cooper clan's thieving reputation. Is it inappropriate to refer to him as a monster? No, not at all. What kind of person stays alive for hundreds of years with the express intention of wiping out a rival's family line? Imagine the hatred fueling that first decision to replace his mortal body with soulless machinery. Ultimately, it did the trick. Clockwork lived on. He caught up with my parents, and I wound up in an orphanage. It's there that I met my pals, Bentley, the brains of our outfit, and Murray. The Bron. They turned out to be all the family I needed. Two years ago, I thought I'd finished it. 
How naive to think I could so easily put an end to that kind of hatred. And now he's back. In pieces, sure, but the threat is real. Does the Claw Gang even realize what they've stolen? I don't know what's in my future, but I won't let it be a repeat of my past.